All right, what's up, y'all? How's everybody been? Um, it's been a long time since I put up something on my YouTube. Yeah, be back on my YouTube in a long time with Jeez. my homie. My hey, what up? My guy, James Han. Hey, right. What's up? What's up, bro? Hey, give a little <laughs> bit of an introduction. Hey, yo, what up? It's James On. I'm a rapper and artist, and I do a bunch of different shit. But right now, I'm making rap music mostly. It's really good to have you. Have you on my? little youtube show yeah. Um, yeah the reason why i invited um james on to this kind of talk about his new mu music video so what was the title of the music video you forgot yeah man shit okay well <laughs> <laughs> the song is called young and it's basically the idea that oh like we're getting old like it's okay to get old but changing that to like it's good to get old you know because mm. i like to relate that sort of passage of time with um the different kinds of friendships I've formed and all the positive things associated with getting old. So <laughs> basically, like, it's not just okay to get old, but it's good to get old, you know? Right, or, no, I totally understand. And I'm not old, but yeah, I relate to that. How, how old are you? Like 12. 12? You're, you're, <laughs> you, you're 12 here. Yeah, you're 12 here. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed the vibe. And actually, um, I want people to kind of check him out because um, he has some shit going on and he has some shit coming his way and coming your way. <laughs> what is your intention of writing this song and what what is your favorite line out of it? I don't always make happy songs. Um, you know, it really depends on how I feel at that time. I really wanted to make a song that could sort of spread that happiness, you know? It has several messages, but I think the most important one for me is to change the notion that like it's bad to get older like the, mm -hmm. but there's grace in aging when you get older like you get more mature and you get a better sense of what matters to me and what doesn't matter to me we joke around a lot oh i'm so old i'm getting old like i'm <laughs> almost 30 you know like it's 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 funny and sad at the same time but in reality i like to sort of reinforce the idea that you know it's good to get old i, I got a lot to say but i'm gonna keep it short yeah 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 you shut up I do talking, okay? <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding the lyrics i think it has a spectrum of different emotions that's something that i really emphasize in my song like mm. um the line that comes up to me right now mm. and i really like that line because 노래 자체는 is very happy right. 비트만 들어도 it's like it's very happy and uplifting like, yeah. <laughs> but I want the listeners and viewers to sort of think about like what were some of the emotions and experiences that went in mm. to be able to create those happy sounds right 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 we focus on like good shit only like and when we say bad shit they like stigmatize you know and I don't right. like that shit 그래서 가사적으로 그런 좀 depth를 느끼고 싶었어. Mm. 그래서 그 가사가 생각이 나네. Mm. Oh, and can I touch on one more lyric that comes to my mind? For sure, also, go for that it. I really like. Yeah. Um, yeah. 아직 20대, don't worry, man. 근데 30대, 라면 걱정해. 돈도 벌고 집도 사고 결혼해야 돼. 난 해냈지, none of the above. <laughs> so in Korea, like, I think there's a stronger notion that you have to do certain things at a certain age. Right. Like when you're 20 something, you go to school or you graduate school then whatever you get a job and at this age you should get married and all that shit yeah. right yeah, and yeah, i'm saying yeah. it in a such a sort of oh. ironically cheerful way uh. acknowledge it and just kind of own it right and not take myself too seriously with mm. these societal standards you know right no i totally feel you like i got i got homies in the states i got homies in korea and especially korean homies that's probably like 80 percent of our conversation topic like mm. we talk about like what you're gonna do next year what you're gonna do career-wise what you're gonna do relationship-wise and it's all focused on future even like three days ago there was a homie that's younger than me mm -hmm. and she was worried about becoming 30s I'm more excited about what's coming in 30s I was looking at this lyrics actually when you talk about it I was mm -hmm. like the funny part is 돈도 벌고 집도 사고 결혼해야 돼 난 해냈지 까지만 보면은 이제 mm -hmm. you know I did everything but the next line is none of the above yeah. and that was pretty funny the next question that i have so <laughs> next question i have is oh, <laughs> just oh. <laughs> I'm, just oh. no, I'm just kidding i'm just kidding but um yeah the first time i heard it it's like the i'm, I'm gonna be straightforward with you because like i'm no chub you know i i, I don't give a shit. Sure. I, i'm no captain yeah like i thought your your rap was very generic but I put it on Kindle, but it's not something like very skillful. I, mm -hmm. I know you're a skillful rapper, but the one part that hit me and then kind of gave me the killing point was your singing. 
Mm. There's going to be fans of your singing. Oh, thank you. I, I thank believe, because I'm a fan myself. I appreciate uh, that. But um, what is your musical career going to proceed as? As an artist and individual, actually, like just in general, like with my life, um, I like to do different things and I try not to confine myself in one category or label or in terms of music, like one mm -hmm. genre. In certain songs, I want to rap. Like I like just I really like rapping, melodic rap and mm -hmm. try to do different things. I do care about what people want. Oh, let's make songs that most people will like. I don't want to turn down day. Like if they like a part of me, like I'm really grateful for that. And I would like to, as an artist, you know, like create more music that people like out of gratitude, you know? Right. Because I'm not going like, to do shit that I don't want to do, you know? It has to be <laughs> something that in the, I want to In the express. range of right. what you like. Right. So I think it really depends on people's sort of feedback throughout mm. my journey as an artist. But for now, I just want to be able to like do whatever I want at that moment depending on what beat or music mm -hmm. I want to make or what I get but that's a very deep answer like you're trying to you're yes. trying to you're trying to oh I see what you're trying to, I, I see you're trying to gain all your future fans what like, am I trying to oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, tell me like, what you like and I'll, <laughs> tell, we'll make that tell me what you like alright alright yeah. I think dope artists they always connect with their fans mm -hmm. it's not like you know fuck you like I'm just mm -hmm. gonna do whatever I want so when I send it to my close friend actually quite a few of them were like is this you singing like who is this <laughs> i actually got that reaction from several friends and i including me yeah and i really <laughs> like that because um it's it shows that it was a surprise you know yeah, and i yeah. and i like to be able to surprise people with my art you know like i think that's a great thing and it's fun and yeah and i'm really grateful for that so the director who shot this music video uh, i saw another work of his and i realized it's a he's he's not a really well-known name but um the coloring of this that the whole music video vibe mm -hmm. is very unique. I, I feel like he's he's on point. I wonder if you could kind of touch upon. Yeah. yeah. First of all, shout out to Reese, aka Youngjae, <laughs> Vedimology, dope music video director. One thing I really like about Reese as a music director is that he emphasizes the importance of color throughout the entire movie. For this music video, um, we decided on like point colors together. Right. And it was a very collaborative process. In the beginning stage, um, I really wanted to film at my friend's basketball court. Yeah. Basketball court is a very meaningful and important space for me. Same and here. I think it's especially relevant like during Corona also. So what was your question again though? Like, And I really love it because it encapsulated the sort of sunsuham, like sort of like the purity and sort of... Right. Um, at, at first, until, yeah. I, uh, until the song where it hit the singing part, I thought it was really cute. It has the cute vibe of yeah. like PG rated, yeah. you know, like, like everybody no can watch. fake shit, like yeah, yeah, yeah. no shit that I'm trying to like show off, you know. It's, right, just, it's like, just a pure shit. Yeah, just yeah. us like smiling and like being adults, and, like, <laughs> being adults, playing and basketball. As an artist, what's your career direction that you kind of want to emphasize? Besides music, I'm doing several other things. Like I also act. Yeah, he's an a... actor actually. Um, <laughs> if you go go yeah. check out the. What is it? Dangerous it's called to know. Dangerous to Know. It's not out yet, but it had its world premiere recently at a Fright Fest, Fright Fest London Film Festival. Um, so hopefully it'll He's air. A freaking superstar. I love acting and I love music right. and I like um, literature as well. Like I write poems and like right. I'm also into education. I hope that these different sort of mediums like create synergy together. So mm. for example, like someone checks checks out a movie where I acted in. I hope he or she or they also check out my music and sort of find appreciation in different art forms through right, me right, as right, an right. artist, you know? You know, I'll put the links down in the comment section or in the, the description tab and y'all could click the link and go, sh you know, show some love for James Song. And stay tuned because uh, I feel like I've been taking a too, like, too long of a break from YouTube. Like, I've been, like, slacking, man. I've been lazy these days, but, um... Actually, my music coming to, uh, soon too. Like my, I'm working on my EP. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be finished soon, but it's coming. And so, and I'll try to stay up with the reviews that people been liking, and I'll I'll keep up with my content. But thank you oh, for coming. Yeah, and I have two more things just to add. Um, one thing is um, 
I'm actually gonna be interviewing No Chuck later right. to, so that we can so that we can you know really get to learn more about No Chuck as an artist but also as an individual you know. 가서 꼭 봐. Yeah. 주세요. Second and last thing I wanna say is um thanks so much No Chuck for having me here and thank you all so much for watching. You're good. Thank you Satsuki and Bree for being for, the audience. For being the audience. The patient audience. Yeah. And um and I just wanna say for everyone out there like. Please be safe and well, and like take care of yourself and take care of your family. And yeah, friends, man, I've been getting Corona blues, man. You guys stay away from that shit. Yeah, so just be safe and well, and thanks so much. I right, for sure. Hey. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Hey. Peace. Hey. Alright. Ah, 근데 노척이 말을 덜 하니까 훨씬 낫다, 진짜. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>